In today's video, we will discuss about circle. Circle is a round shape. There are various examples of circle in our surrounding, like moon, sun, bangal, coin. These are circular in shape. In case of circle, we will not have any edges. And here you can see one dot. This is called the center of the circle. It is also known as fixed point. So in mathematical form, we can say that circle is the locus of a point which moves in a plane so that its distance from a fixed point in that plane remains constant. So let us discuss about various parts of the circle. So first is circumference. Here you can see this boundary which I made with the thread. This is known as circumference. It is also known as perimeter of the circle. Now if we would take the portion of the circumference that is known as an arc and now I would tell you one trick to find the center of the circle if the center of the circle is unknown how can we find out the center first of all you need to fold this and this way then again we will fold it so when we will fold it the second time it will intersect the previous line at a point so this point of intersection will be taken as the center of the circle now the next part of the circle it will be a sector now how can we get the sector if you will join these two end points of the arc with the center we will get a region and that region is known as sector by joining the two end points of the arc with the center we are getting a sector then radius of the circle whenever you will join the fixed point means center of the circle to any point on the circumference of the circle we are always getting the radius and uh, next is diameter diameter is again a line segment it is a line segment and it will always pass through the center of the circle and always remember diameter of the circle is double of the radius double of the radius and radius is always equal to half of the diameter the next is chord chord is again a line segment which will intersect the circle at two points and the longest chord of the circle is known as diameter longest chord of the circle is known as the diameter now segment this is the last part in case of segment we will get a region so region this is the region enclosed by the chord and by the arc is known as segment so whenever we will make the chord we will get two segments of the circle so this portion is small this is big this is known as minor minor segment if you will see this one yellow portion this is known as the major segment